is my entrepreneur life video number one so this video is gonna be minimal editing because I just want to give it to y'all raw uncut and let y'all know what it is let y'all know what it's hitting for or whatever um, it's late at night so if I'm talking kind of low which I hope I'm not because I'm using my earpods and I'm recording from my phone so hopefully you can hear me really good so one of the things I want to talk about in my first video is basically starting a business and like business essentials. Once again, I am the CEO of K Rain Beauty. I'll put it right here on the screen. Um, that is where I sell my own lip glosses and it will be expanding to lashes and more in the upcoming months lashes will be coming in about november so if you're interested in that or even also interested in some glosses the link will be in the description box and i will put it in a pinned comment down in the comment section so we're starting a business you want to have business essentials and this is what this first video is going to be all about so being that i'm doing glosses a lot of my essentials my supplies will be geared towards lip glosses the main thing you want to have at first a handy dandy notebook mine says um it's my goal journal never lose sight of your dreams this is basically where i write down the names of everything their inventory numbers just to make sure i'm keeping track of everything i also do count my inventory after every order just to well, I'm going to try after every order just to make sure it's always up to date. So having a notebook is a must. Sometimes ideas may come to my head for a color, um, you know, that I might want to do. I brainstorm names for them. So having a book is always handy. And I take it with me to work, um, mostly to work because all I do is work and come home. And work on my business so I take it with me to work because sometimes I'm on a train I might have a sudden idea where I'm just like oh I should do this gotta have my book so then after having my book the next thing that I got because I know I was gonna be doing lip glosses was my brother P touch label maker this comes with a white label tape with black writing to replace that I went on Amazon because my bottles are clear and I wanted something better I got um, label tapes that are clear, that, are, that is black on clear. So the tape itself is clear, but the writing on it is black. So I made sure I got a pack of two of those. So one is in here and I have an extra one there and I'm gonna order more just to have backups. Um, also with having essentials and everything essential wise, as far as supplies, for shipping you can find on Amazon Amazon has everything so um, I have my lip gloss base and my micas my powders my glitters and my oils that I like to use um, I use organic and vegan oils because when it comes to skincare I love organic oils vegan oils I don't use lotion on my face I use nothing but oils I use like coconut oil rose seed rose hip oil yeah rose hip oil hazelnut oil like i love those kind of things so much hence the skin so from amazon being that this is like my third go around with my business because i did like take a step back um re-event everything so it's like my third time and third time's the charm i had bubble mailers from before these hot pink bubble mailers there's two things that is wrong with these bubble mailers. First, they're too small. Secondly, I hate the color pink. I like pink in small dosages. Why did I ever start out my brand from two years ago with pink? I don't know. Um, I was much younger, so I guess because it was cute. And one thing, let your brand be true to you. This is 
this is not true to me but I did keep them because I never know when I might need them like I might run out of my bigger mailers and have to use these it's and then also to my thank you cards don't fit in there because I would have used them but the thank you cards that I have currently do not fit so until I run out of those or don't use those thank you cards anymore because there's a certain discount code on it I won't be using these bubble mailers so as far as that in this big old Amazon box that I have on my bed next to me I still keep my supplies in there so I ordered another set of bubble mailers this is black and I believe this measures six by eight and a half with the flap up um don't quote me on that but once again from Amazon and my thank you cards fit perfectly in here my glosses fit perfectly in here it is much bigger so if a person orders four or more lip glosses they will all fit comfortably so I'm happy this came in a pack of 15 so depending on how much you want to start out with what was your MOQ which is minimum order quantity from your vendor will also dictate how much mailers you're actually going to need fun fact for those who may not know when you have a business you can get free shipping supplies from USPS I just like the personal touch of having my own bubble mailers they are more fun they're cuter they come in different colors like I just feel like it allows the customer to feel like they have a personal touch of you so those I got from Amazon two packs 50 each and then it's gonna get noisy real quick with this crinkling I got organza bags I got simple white organza bags because my package is black and black is like literally life favorite color favorite everything of all time so I got white organza bags because I do have colored glosses and I felt like it sat nice it was a nice contrast and also two of my business cards are black so keeping up with everything black and white black and white so these organza bags came in a pack of 100 also from Amazon if I haven't said it I said it now from Amazon I keep it in this original bag inside that big old box and for right now that's how I store everything until I get better storage the only things that are stored in better store in better storage is the actual lip glosses itself and my ingredients to make my lip glosses so now that I have my mailers my label maker my book my label tape all of that I of course need my gloss tubes right and other simple things so I'm just gonna show you what I actually have near me so in this container that I got from my 99 cent store shout out to my 99 cent store I have my gloss tubes I ordered them in a pack of 100 because once again minimum order quantity is 100 and they came separate like this with the stoppers in a separate little bag please if you're doing lip glosses or anything that comes in tubes sanitize them at first you don't know what they've been through where they have gone you don't want to immediately put like gloss in this to give to somebody to put on their lips and you don't know what kind of dander dust or whatever been inside the bottles been on the brush you don't want that so what else is in here okay so that's what I keep in this box so the pink mailers my glosses and also I ordered from Amazon shout out to Amazon once again pipettes to be able to uh, pipe my gloss and measure my oils in my mixture so self-explanatory with pipettes and then another thing that I made sure I had to get along with the label maker I got actual labels and these are from Avery these are supposed to be return address labels, but being that they were clear and small enough to fit my bottles, I got this one. And if you notice in the corner, sometimes it will say laser or inkjet, or it will say laser and inkjet. I got the laser one because my printer, okay, here's the story. My printer is actually not a laser printer, it's an inkjet. Inkjet printers, ink is water-based. So if water was to come in contact with your lip gloss bottle, or at least the bottle that you get from me, my logo will wash off. With laser, it's permanent. So water can touch it, water can do whatever, and can weather the elements, it won't come off. So my logo is there to stay. And I print my logo 
shops on the Avery return address return labels at Staples. So with my logo, they come like this in a row. So if you want to print at home, you definitely can, which is why sometimes they'll say laser or inkjet. Just find out what type of printer you have and that's pretty much it. You'll go on Avery.com, make a template, and on that template, it'll open up a PDF file, press print, and you're done. And for me to print mine at Staples, I didn't print all of these. I only printed out three sheets. I only paid $13, so that's not bad. Um, once again, because I have an inkjet printer and inkjet is water-based, I didn't want to go that route. So that's why I got the laser. Also, too, if you're going to be printing at home, which is much cheaper than, well, it's not much cheaper because you still have to pay for the shipping label. It's just more convenient because you don't have to wait, have them wait, your, wait online. Because anybody knows if you're shipping through USPS, no matter where you are, in the US, they're just horrible. They have attitudes. The lines are always long. It's always packed. You don't want to go through that. So I use Shopify as my hosting site for my website. But I use ShipStation to ship, to create my shipping labels and to ship my products. Because with ShipStation, once I create your shipping label, it automatically sends my customers their shipping numbers. I do not have to manually enter it. You also get a discounted price on everything because it connects you to stamps.com. And it's great. So I got the Avery White internet shipping labels and this one see how the other one said laser and it was in pink this is inkjet because my computer is inkjet i print my labels my shipping labels at home being that this is like paper i'm not worried about um the elements or whatever doing anything to it so that's what i got and it comes with two shipping labels on each sheet so let me just show you what it looks like and this is a pack of 50. I already printed one side last night for an order and then the paper is right here on the other side and then all you do is peel stick you're done so that is the amazing part about having these at home you buy your labels online you print it out only thing you have to do is the next day leave your house drop them off at the mail at the mailbox so that's also something that you should have with your shipping supplies and just your supplies in general i also have this smaller storage container which is a very mini version to where i have my lip gloss um ingredients and my already made lip glosses that are ready to ship in this just hosts my makeup cards because i am a certified makeup artist miscellaneous drawers where i actually keep my own personal lip glosses and a perfume apparently in there two perfumes and down here are my actual business cards for my business i got 250 of them and my makeup cards i had 100 i had a little brain fart and i get my cards printed out through vista print so once again like i said with the black and white theme these are my cards and this is the back Black and red are two of my favorite colors, so I felt like my logo being black and the red sitting against the white looked amazing. And then just the plain black and white in the front. So just looking at this and this in a white organza bag with your glosses just looks super, super aesthetically pleasing. I got 250 business cards because I do keep business cards in every single handbag that I use. And I also just give them out on a regular that's why they're in my handbags and when a person places an order i do give two cards one for the customer and one if they want to share or just in case they lose one they have another one because sometimes they don't always take a picture of your card and if they do sometimes they get lost in the sea of pictures that they're going to take right after so those are my main supplies that i have for my business and i'm noticed i'm finding myself licking my lips a little too much um so this is my gloss these are how my labels actually look so these are the ones that i got printed out at staples and this is the name of the gloss on the back that i used my um label maker to do 
So the clear tapes look really good on it. The only thing though, I do plan on changing my packaging for my stuff because these tubes are good, but I think the wand is too small or either my lips are too big. Because I find myself having to dip a lot, but also too, I'm a person that loves a lot of gloss on my lip. Mm. It is so soft. This, like, look at this. It looks purple, it looks violet, because you know why? It's a color shifting lip gloss. It looks white in the tube. Let me see if I could get it to. This is more close to the true color of it. You can kind of see the violet shift. But as a regular person, are you really going to think that, you know, it looks like that? No. And I haven't seen anybody else with this kind of gloss. You definitely can get this gloss. It's on my website. It's called Made You Look. And right now, I'm having a 30% off the entire site going on right now for the whole month of September. In celebration of the launch and also in celebration of my birthday, like... Virgo gang, are you here? If you're a Virgo, drop the Virgo sign in the comment section down below because I need to know. I wish I could do something a little special for my Virgos, but y'all already getting 30% off, so. <laughs> and there's no discount code needed at all for the site. The site is already discounted, and you get free shipping on orders over $40. Like, come on. And once again, I'm going to be expanding to lashes and many more in the upcoming months. Lashes will be coming either late November, early December, or early November, mid-November. It's coming. And it's going to be bomb because me and my vendor, we here. We are here. So if you guys want to see um, another video or just have anything in mind, I'm still going to make them anyway. Because um, I'm going to write down in my book what i already spoke about in this one and just keep expanding another good person to watch with their entrepreneurial videos kyla shay we actually have the same name she keeps it real and all of her stuff like she's dope so go check her entrepreneurial videos out this is just my first one there'll be many more to come once again like i said i already launched my website you know i'll let that know i'll let you know how that goes as far as orders and when i do get orders because I already did got in orders when I do get more I can record how I package and ship my orders in another video so thank you guys for watching this video there will be plenty more raw uncut entrepreneur life videos it is now something in the morning my phone not even near me oh my phone is what I'm recording on it is now something o'clock in the morning I'm actually gonna do more stuff on my site make sure everything is looking up to par see if anything needs to be posted on social media and i'm just chilling for the night i don't have work tomorrow so that's great but just to let you guys know everything happens in a timing what is meant for you will be for you and if you're on a budget amazon 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 I don't know what more to say but amazon and also too don't forget to order your lip glosses from my website they're not over glossy they don't get the white film on the inside and even after you wipe it off your lips are still soft and moisturized like who lip gloss is doing that who i'll wait i'll see you guys in my next video